Hey guys, it's WT here from the Coin Alley. It is February the 6th, Tuesday, and welcome. So in this episode of the Coin Alley, I'll show you guys how to save your Digibyte blockchain tokens or coins on the Trezor hardware wallet. That's right. You can now store your Digibyte coins on Trezor. I'll show you how to do this coming right up. Let's do it. And we're back. Welcome back to the Coin Alley. I'm your host, WT. So on Sunday's Subscriber's Choice, I told you guys all about Digibyte, and you thought it couldn't get any better. Well, you can now save those Digibyte coins on your Trezor hardware wallet. Now, Trezor hasn't actually completely um, released the, uh, officially the ability to do this, but uh, there was a posting out there on how to actually do this on your Trezor wallet. So uh, the only thing is, if you went ahead and do it at this time, uh, Trezor is not offering any support. So please do this at your own risk when it comes to uh, storing your coins um, on the Trezor without the official release. And I believe that Trezor is probably waiting for their uh, new Model T of the Trezor. Uh, before um, releasing it officially on the Trezor hardware wallet. So I'll definitely show you guys how to do that. But first, if you've been enjoying my videos, I certainly would appreciate a thumbs up and by you hitting the subscribe button. Be sure to leave a comment in the comment section. It helps keep the conversation going even after the video is over. Plus, it provides motivation and gives me something to do. It encourages me to keep bringing you guys great content. Thank you for your support. All right, and now on to our update. So the first step in this process is that you will need to pull up your Trezor, Trezor, wallet.trezor.io. That is the link to access your Trezor wallet. All right, now I need to go ahead and enter my passphrase. All right, I've entered my passphrase. Now I can hit enter. All right, so our first step is we need to go ahead and click app settings on the left-hand side menu. Then we need to set our BitCore server URL, which is over here. So we'll remove what's in there. And I'll leave a link, um, I'll leave the instructions in the bottom of this video so you guys can do that. All right. So it's https explorer.digibyteprojects.com and then we'll save and reload. Then I need to enter my passcode again. Enter a passcode. Now we have our custom backend which is Digibyte. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send some Digibyte to my Trezor wallet. So I'm going to go to receive and I'm going to show my address. Now you're, you're probably used to your address starting with a D for Digibyte, but on the Trezor, as of right now, it looks like it starts with a three. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send me some uh, Digibyte over to test it out. All right, I have my Digibyte Go wallet, and I'm going to go ahead and send some Digibyte over to the Trezor just to test it out before sending all of my Digibyte coins. So let's go ahead and we'll send 100 Digibyte. Enter 
enter a pin code. Hit OK. Payment sent. So we sent our 100 digibyte over to our Trezor. And then we'll await the arrival of our digibyte. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh or forget the device. And we will unplug our Trezor and plug it back in again. And then we enter our PIN code. Then we type our password. And there you go. We have 100 Digicoin or Digibyte coin in our Trezor wallet. So that's pretty simple, guys. Um, just remember, as I mentioned, uh, this isn't officially supported by Trezor as yet. They're waiting for what we assume to be, um, you know, they're waiting for the new Trezor to be released. But until then, this is how you will work with Digibyte on your Trezor hardware wallet. So guys, if you have any questions about this process, uh, please drop me your comments in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. All right, guys, until our next video, take care of yourself, and of course, as always, take care of each other.